What do you think of my accent? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> it's a bit of work. <laughs> well, dodgy, is it? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It is terrible. <laughs> just, that was such a lovely montage, wasn't it? And I was lovely, thinking, we saw the yeah. two scenes, uh, the one of the, the happy birth and then the very kind of sad occasion as well. And they were, they were both such wonderful scenes, weren't they, in, in all the series? Um, Yours was particularly poignant, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, um, it was an amazing uh, scene in the sense that he wrote the tragedy and the comedy. I think that's such a rare thing yeah. to be yeah. able to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, uh, I think John Sullivan was, was amazing at that. And I remember when they were talking about the subject, thinking, how will it work? Yeah, how can, we, how can we make yeah. anything? But he did manage to do it, and we got an amazing response from that show, amazing. in mm. fact. Don't you think it's incredible that the show ran without the female characters in it? So it started in 1981, and it was... I remember it so clearly. My dad loved yeah. it. Yeah. My boyfriends loved it. My yeah. husband's loved boyfriends. Do you see the plural? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a blokey show. Yeah. And then, by the end of the eighties, John Sullivan suddenly thought, "Hey, women. Yeah. Why not bring yeah. women in?" Yeah. Yeah. And we were a bit worried about that, weren't we, as viewers? It's like, how yeah, what's going to happen when the women yeah. enter the scene? But how you how you both were introduced was fascinating because the blokes were so inept, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember your first scene? I do indeed. My very first day at Waterloo Station with um, David. Del boy holding the flowers. I was probably the only person in the country who'd never watched the programme, so I, I was completely <laughs> oblivious to the entire thing. I just did it because the script was amazing and the character was fantastic, and I'd heard people say, oh, it's a really funny show. Mm. And was and David at the audition? Theater, so I didn't see the programme. Well, I'm so sorry to I was there. I, I had to go back. I did it the first audition, and then I went back and did a recall, and David was at the recall, because I suppose he wanted to know that whoever was yeah. coming in to play possibly opposite. At that point, it was only the one off, it wasn't going to be yeah. regular. But I think he wanted to, to know that we'd have a chemistry, so I had to read with him. That's and Cassandra, it. you said that you weren't prepared at all, actually, for the, for the, um, for the. Sorry, Gwyneth, not Cassandra. For the, for the, for the attention, <laughs> for the attention that you got straight after that no, first episode. No, it was so massive. It was, it? and I, actually, I'm totally the opposite. We're opposite in many ways. We're great friends, but we're quite opposite. And I, my family loved the show, and yeah. we watched it loads. And I went for my meeting after I'd had my son. I'd, he was about three months old, and my agent said to me, "When you think you're ready," and I was like, <laughs> "I can hardly walk." You know, <laughs> <laughs> <they're> like, ready. <laughs> I thought, I'll say I'm ready, thinking it'll come come up in about three or four months and literally the week later she said, oh, there's a sort of couple of episodes of Fools and Horses. You meet a computing class, don't you? Yes. You yeah. meet an evening class. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 It is so funny because the interaction between the characters, because Rodney and Dell had been together for so many years and they were so close that when you two came yeah. into it, you kind of unnerved them, mm, just because yeah. you're women. <laughs> so, I also think with your presence, you made it more family viewing as well. I mean, I remember watching it with my family, and obviously, you know, we're an Asian family, but we felt like we were watching, like, our friends. It was because you were so inclusive. You actually represented everybody's communities, yes. which was yeah. just so lovely. And yeah. so you felt inclusive. And I'm sure, like, you know, at parts, there were a few kind of, like, politically uncorrect statements. We'd be laughing along, we'd be laughing. Yeah. 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 Do you remember the one with, with the, Mr yeah. Singh with the turban? Do you remember <laughs> that one? Do you remember that one? <laughs> Yeah, was it? I, that wasn't what Turbinator. Turbinator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were laughing our heads off at that, you know. We just thought it was, it was great to be, you know, felt included. It was a really amazing yeah. show for them. The birth yeah. scene was a big scene for you, wasn't it, Tessa? Well, yes, because yes. I'd never... I, you know, I hadn't had children yeah. then. Um, <laughs> in fact, none of us had. And uh, What did we, you do to prepare Well, we filmed it? it at Hillingdon Hospital and, in fact, used a baby who was born 12 hours earlier, oh, was, yeah. was the baby oh, Damien. Oh, and yeah. so the mum was in the maternity ward and we were filming the floor above. And we all said, well, we don't... None of us have had a child, you know, is there any? And the midwife said, oh, yeah, we, we can show you a film. And we all came in and we'd had our <laughs> lovely fry-up breakfast. So we should... <laughs> and they put this film on and, of course, it was very realistic, all the screaming and the... Blah. But then they had the camera down the other end and you saw everything and the afterbirth, the oh, this, the that. Goodness. And all of us, you know, started to feel very sick because we've got our fried eggs and bacon in our stomach. You know. but, um, but it was very helpful. Mm. Was it? Was it... I mean, it's not always the case when you're in a comedy that everyone's rolling in the aisles through the day, but I imagine there was quite a lot of corpsing and laughing filming this, was there not? We, we've just been talking about that, cos at the rehearsal period, we used to laugh ourselves stupid over all of it in the way that the audience does eventually. But 
you, through it, you'd get less, you get more and more nervous through the week because yeah. obviously you're going to walk out in front of a studio audience yeah. and you've got to get it right. Well, I'm yeah. 24 million at home. Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, know, I didn't realise it was live and yeah, it was in yeah. these studios, wasn't yes, it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, you know, you get through it, in, you enjoy it in rehearsal and then you start thinking, I've really got to get my act together because, yeah. you know, it's not, yeah. you, 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 you being straight is why it's funny. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah not exactly. Your yeah. Fun, is it? Who was the biggest wonder upper then? Ken, Ken, probably. Ken, Ken McDonald. McDonald. Yeah, who played yes. the barman. Yeah. He was a terror. Yeah. In fact, he, he cut, um, you know, he was always behind the pub mm. bar and he always, didn't he, every week when we were in the studio, mm. he cut the coaster <laughs> in, and put it on his nose. Yeah, <laughs> did he? Yeah. Every week. Of course, yeah. he was a Scotsman, dodgy act. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> of course, the audience yeah. loved it because it was done yeah. with an audience as well as... Do you still well keep as... in touch? Do you, as a group, keep in touch and have a reunion and stuff? No, I really, really want you to say oh, yes. I do. <laughs> Sorry, but friends, we're great chums. Yeah, we're great friends, and our daughters are great friends. Yes. Yes. We've gone through, you know, so much together. It's a really, yeah. really long time, and yeah, it's been, you know, brilliant. And as you say, we went in as the two new women, so we were yeah. like clinging to yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. intimidating. It was, that must it have was been. intimidating. Yeah. In fact, and it was very blokey. The atmosphere in the two really studios. Yeah. So you would be there were no women yeah. working on the floor. Yeah, no, we. That's right. Absolutely right. That had really bonded us, I think. And then, and then it was opened up. And I think, yeah. as you say, it became so inclusive. Yeah. I think that's what John is so good at. Yeah. Why John's and having and the babies, you know, having yeah. the family yeah, and exactly. everything. Yeah. Was, Creative yeah. genius, sadly, who died in, in 20 yeah. years. Yes. Yeah. So I guess there's no more Only Fools and Horses. We have to give no, it a... Sadly. Oh.